Hi everyone, welcome back to another Let's Edit video here on Figuropathy.com. Today uh, we're going to look at this night sky photo, I guess. Uh, there's a little house uh, in front of the scene here. Uh, I went around and I actually set this scene up where I turned every light on in the house. Uh, that really uh, illuminates the inside of the house and makes it feel kind of warm and cozy inside. Um, and then the rest of this photograph is, is really pretty simple to accomplish. We just have a wide-angle lens at 11 millimeters, uh, ISO 800, f2.8, and a 30-second exposure. Now, for a night photo, you want to be able to capture as much light as possible, and that's because these stars are really far away. They're really small, so we need to make sure that we can get as much light to the sensor as possible before um, the time runs out on the shutter. So that's why I'm using f2.8 and a high ISO and a long exposure. Uh, but you know, there's some work that needs to be done with this shot, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do with this particular photograph is change the white balance. I believe I like the way the auto setting is going to work. You'll notice that through most of my photos, uh, most of my editing, I just use Lightroom's auto white balance. Uh, for most of them. I think it does a pretty good job. If I if I feel it needs a little tweak here and there, I usually will move the temperature. So we can move this up just a touch and that will bring a little bit of warmth back into this into this uh, scene. So it's already looking really actually pretty good. Uh, there's some things that I'd like to play around with though. Uh, let's add some contrast. And that'll again uh, bring, you know, make the sky start to pop. I want to add some highlight detail as well, but not too much because we're going to start getting into a situation where we have too much light coming from the house. So one way around that is we can actually go into our gradient filter here. We can drag down from the top and we just want to affect basically everything above the house. So if we have it set up like this, add some contrast and lower our exposure and then we're going to add the highlights back in. It'll be less subtle than exposure. can actually bring the contrast back down. Um, maybe just bring in a little extra exposure. And uh, that should be good for this particular uh, shot. Uh, now, there's a couple things that we're going to need to do here. We're going to want to bring the highlights down again um, for the overall photo, actually. I didn't like how this particular light was kind of washing everything out around it, so I wanted to kind of bring that down. I might actually even uh, decide to come into uh, the Adjustment Brush tool and just paint in kind of a lower exposure on the house itself, just to kind of, you know, bring in a little bit of the detail and kind of control stuff a little bit. So uh, that's a really good start, but we do have some uh, stuff we need to clean up. So I'm going to go into our cloning tool here, and I'm going to try and see if I can uh, clone this out or heal it out. And uh, that's looking pretty good. So that gets rid of that one. Let's come in and uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this light here, whatever that is around and then um, create a nice small one and get rid of um, this little red dot in the background here. So that's doing pretty good. And then there's one more little thing up here that's kind of distracting me. So I'll just go in and I'll get rid of that as well. And then it can close down, exit out of the heel tool and it's like nothing was ever there. Um, now this is pretty good the way it's uh, come together so far. Of course you can add a little bit of clarity to kind of sharpen things up a little bit. Uh, we can try and add some vibrance and some saturation which will um, make it a little more lively, uh, hence why it's under the presence tab. And uh, then other than that it's really just uh, final touches and stuff. So if you want to um, go through and you know play around with the white balance a little more you can get some different looks. But I think I like it with the kind of the deep blue color with just a hint of these pinks and purples coming in at the horizon line. 
I like the way the house is situated. I might just crop in just a hair to uh, remove that really bright bush on the left side there and give it kind of a, a slight uh, straightening adjustment. And there we go. So that's basically the final image that I've come up with for you today. Uh, we can take a quick look. This is where we started and here's where we finished. Uh, what do you think of this edit? Um, have you ever done any night sky photography? Do you plan to do anything like this? Um, the big key to shooting at night is to remember that you want to be able to capture a lot of light. So you need a high ISO, a wide aperture, and a long exposure. Once you do that, all you really need other than those three things is to get to someplace dark and far away from the city. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, third video in my Let's Edit series. There'll be another one next week. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you did like this video, please click the like button below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in a little bit.